What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day number 20 of Autodesk Fusion. All right, we're going to be working on something today. We might crash, we might not. Uh, in any case, uh, let's push the limits of Fusion today. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is open up Fusion. There we go. And uh, we're going to be making some, uh, working with webbing today and uh, what webbing does exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create corrugated cardboard. Now, corrugated cardboard is two sections, and albeit very, 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 very small sections. So I'm just going to do um, some really small, uh, thin sheets here. We're going to do one millimeter by 65, and then um, just because I feel like being efficient, I'm going to highlight everything. Hit copy, control C, and then hit control V, and then move that over just a hair. Um, I'm actually going to move that over negative uh, one millimeter. Okay. And let me see if I did that right. Distance between this one and this one is three millimeters. Let's make that one. And same thing here. Okay. So now I've got my two sections of uh, cardboard. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to extrude both of these out to get uh, my two sheets, that way I can corrugate the cardboard between them. Now, how do we do this exactly? What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new sketch and uh, on this plane, and I'm going to just draw some lines in between um, these two sheets, and uh, now instead of repeating this, I can actually make Fusion do it for me. So I'm going to hit Rectangular Pattern, these two things that I want to repeat, we're going to repeat it up all the way until we seem happy. Now, there we go. Of course, we're going to repeat it more than three times, though. So let's repeat it, I don't know, let's say 15. Does that do enough? Oh, nope, we're going the wrong direction. That's going to be 1 in that direction and 15 in the y direction. Are we happy with that number? I think we can bump it up just a few more. So let's go more in the realm of 25 looks good. Okay. Now what we got is we just have one line going between these two sheets. Now what I'm going to do is hit finish sketch and I'm going to create webbing between all of those sheets. So I'm actually going to highlight everything and we notice that some geometry I don't want to use got selected. So I'm going to hold down the, sh the control key and unclick that geometry. It's going to let me do it. Sometimes it might crash on us if we're trying this too much. So let's try this again. There we go. So um, I tried the control key, didn't work. Shift key apparently did. So um, now let's go into the thickness. So we've just got a bunch of lines. We actually don't have any full shapes made. And so what Web is going to do is going to take that line, it's going to extrude it all the way down for me and give it some thickness. When you do webbing, it's more for structural support. And so uh, a engineer can just go in and draw roughly what the webbing should look like, give Fusion some commands, and it'll just throw that in there. So we're going to call the thickness of this, uh, since this cardboard is called uh, 0.5 millimeters. Um, that looks actually a little bit too thick. Um, Let's do 0 0.25 millimeters, okay? And then hit okay. So now what I've got here is I have a sheet of cardboard, but I don't like that color of it. So I'm actually gonna highlight all of this and then hit A for appearance so we can change what it looks like. And um, uh, let's try fabrics. I think fabrics are gonna be where we wanna be at. Let's try this light brown and there we go. We have made a sheet of corrugated cardboard with slots in between. Now I imagine this could be helpful if you're trying to design a couple of things that you want to make it structurally sound when you 3D print them in certain ways and certain things like that. Um, could you do this faster using some extrusions and some uh, subtractive uh, modeling? Absolutely. However, I think this is once you get used to it, you can actually do a little bit quicker than if you were to try to just do, um, you know, extrusions and drawing a couple triangles or things like that. All right, guys, there you go. That's what we got for today. We drew a, or we designed some corrugated cardboard. 
All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you on the next one. Adios.